give me some on again Cubs Marlins Reds who do you most believe in Ruben yeah I think it's the Marlins for me and, and it's always about starting pitching and I think that they have the deepest rotation in that in the of those threesomes I mean Al, Al, Alcantara is just pitching his butt off right now he's been lights out he's getting back to where he was last year as a Cy Young Award winner they have great arms they've got Lasardo they've got you know they've got even got a little bit of uh, Johnny Cueto who has is a guy who's got a lot of experience. I think the combination, Braxton Garrett's thrown very well. I believe in the depth of that rotation, and I think Kim Eng's done a really nice job of adding a little bit of power. They had no power at all. Mm. Now they have a little bit of a power now with Josh Bell. Um, they got Jake Berger. I think it's going to be a club that uh, that's going to contend. It's going to be an awfully tight and exciting race. For me, I got the Cubs. I think when you look at strength and schedule, the Cubs have – the, the weakest strength of schedule for the rest of the season. I also just believe when you look at the Central, the Cubs might just win the Central. Mm. So you looking at wild card, it may end up being the Milwaukee Brewers may end up being the wild card. The wild yeah. card. Yeah. Yeah. But the last X factor for me is Dansby Swanson and that experience, the championship pedigree that he brings to the Chicago Cubs. Both those guys uh, in the middle are the pretty The Stroman exciting. injury, right, though, is significant, right? If he's got rib issues and he could be out, like, that puts a – I'm with you on the Cubs, but that puts a dent in them because that, that top two that they had in the rotation was their real strength. Yes, that means that the, the bullpen is going to have to – carry more of the load as they get down the stretch here. Whenever you lose a starter like that that's eating up a bunch of innings, your middle relievers are going to have to pick you up. Yeah, they sure are. And they've, they've organized their their bullpen a little bit better with, uh, you know, Leiter and Azalea. I mean, they've done okay, but uh, I'm not sure if they can carry the load without having Stroman at the top of that rotation. You know what amazes me, and I'll just throw this in quickly, the Padres have a 25%, according to Fangrass, which takes into account, like, you know, how much production you have, have a 25% chance of making the playoffs. They're four and a half out. they got to jump over four clubs. What's crazy to me is that <laughs> they have the best rotation of that whole group, I mean, and the most talent overall, and the fact that they just can't get it done, it's just astonishing to me. Um, and, and they should be the ones that should be in the hunt. Yeah, they should be. And I, I, I can't get off this Padres train because they were my pick actually to go to the World Series from the National League. I'm just waiting for this team at some point this season yeah. to put together a 20-game stretch that's indicative yeah, of the too. talent. Yeah, me too. Right. And Hopefully they don't want to be waiting for you. We're waiting for the White Sox to do it since last year, and it's never <laughs> happened. Are they like the anti-Orioles, right? It's another team that when you look at the parts, you see a lot of really good players. Everywhere. But then when you yeah. watch them play, they don't play fundamentally sound baseball. Right. They don't run the bases. And when you look at them in one-run games, they have the worst record in one-run games. Those are the little things that Brandon Hyde talked about of why the Orioles are winning. Right. It's the same. It's the right. opposite of why the Six Padres and are not winning. 6-19 and 19 in one-run games, as yeah. you said, the worst in all of baseball. And they're finding ways to lose those games, not finding ways to win them. They're still in the hunt. They're, they have, they're uber talented, and they should be there, but there, there's something missing there. Yeah, I don't think we, we – I, we paid very little attention to the Reds here, and the Reds are still young and springy and happening. If they get Nick Lodolo, Hunter Green back, just to fill innings league average-wise, I don't have to be great. It might be a different story, right? It's a big if because the, the, both Lodolo and Green can be at the top of a rotation. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they're ready – um, just experience-wise to get there. I'm not sure where they're going to come back and be great pitchers. I just don't know that they have with Ashcraft and the rest of that group, they have the depth to be able to carry further past, you know, guys like the Marlins and, and the Cubs and even the Padres right. at the end of the day.